Hi guys, this is Miss Bell with your basic lesson on the element of art of line. Line is defined as the path made by a moving point. Line is one of the most important elements of art. It can be used to show the outline of a shape. It can be used to show value using line. You can see here where the line is darker along the outer edge and lighter towards the inside. It gives the illusion of depth. Language. Here you can see that lines are used in a lot of other languages in different ways as well as our own to recognize sounds. Here we have pattern in line and texture in line. It gives us also the illusion of depth based on the curvature of the line. Line quality. The thickness or thinness of a line. Lightness or darkness. It can be affected by the tool, your pencil or marker, or medium, paint or ink. Here, each one of these was completed using the Jamboard tools. We have a pen, a marker, a highlighter, or a brush, and each of those has a different line quality, which will read differently based on how it is used. Here, with the apples, you can see that the thin line that is consistent gives us more of the illusion of a coloring page, whereas here, on the second apple, the line weight changes on the right side, and it's a little bit thicker, which gives us the illusion of depth. It reads more like a shadow. Here, for lines, I gave you this exact sheet in class so that you can copy each one of the lines along with the names. And then your assignment was to create three lines of your own. And you can borrow from some of the lines on this list that you see here. How do certain lines make you feel? Do they make you feel excited? Maybe they make you feel relaxed. Maybe they make you feel a little nervous, like lightning and waves down here at the bottom. Where do you see lines every day? Take a look around the room. Where do you see lines? How does it affect how you see things? Do you know where things stop and start? Or maybe it helps you recognize how important something is if lines are bold. We see lines all the time and that line variation, quality, thickness and thinness makes all the difference sometimes. We're going to move on to Zentangles. The definition of a Zentangle is an easy to learn, relaxing, and fun way to create beautiful images by drawing structured contained patterns. There, there is an Edpuzzle video assignment in the Google Classroom for you all. If you're watching this video at a later date, I'm pretty sure that date has changed for the due date. Please adhere to the one that is posted in the Google Classroom. Here is an example of a Zentangle heart. The lines didn't have to be curved, but you can see that each individual section is made up of a different Zentangle pattern. They're absolutely beautiful and very interesting to look at. Your assignment here is to practice drawing Zentangles in thumbnail boxes in your paper sketchbook. It doesn't have to be a square. Your thumbnail can also be a circle. I did the first one for you. Here are a few examples of Zentangles. You can borrow from these if you see fit. You can also look online to find more examples of Zentangles as well as YouTube tutorials. Your next assignment will be Sticky Note Doodles. There is a video posted in the Google Classroom on how to do the Sticky Note Doodle starting with the four squares. This should be done on a sticky note if you have one. If not, you need to create a square in your paper sketchbook. Be sure to show line variation and weight. Use the video that's there in the Google Classroom under Line and Zentangles to help you along. Your final assignment for Zentangles is to create a Zentangle and Doodle hand. Here you'll trace your hand and fill it in with doodles and Zentangle patterns. You can use color pencils, pens, or markers if you like, but you must have more than seven separate patterns and sections. Remember, you have four, f five fingers, oh, four fingers and one thumb, yes. But you have five fingers all together. 
and your hand you should have at least two different sections here. I have multiples on my example. You can borrow some ideas here. Just get into a zone, listen to some great music, relax, and create your Zentangles. That's all for now.